1963. Together for companionship, for kicks, and to be somebody where they seem to be nobody. They also band together for safety, for here blind pride and frustration can and do lead to violence. A story of a unique program of the Chicago YMCA to deal with this problem. And of this boy who got in trouble with a gun. Of this boy who got shot in the leg. And of this man. Wow. One boy to make the biggest decision of his life. This man's one aim, to keep it cool. This is our story as the Prudential Insurance Company of America presents the 20th century. What year was this? I 63, Chicago. 2023, I could have sworn. 60 years ago. Except for the graphics and the music. A son man with a gun on her. Keep it cool. Chicago, throbbing dynamic city, society. Chicago, another part of the city, another society, a contrast not unique to Chicago. It is a national problem of poor housing, few job opportunities, school dropout. Two worlds in one, and George Dryden works in both. Little All-America halfback at Wheaton College, Illinois, Bachelor of Arts, Dryden is a supervisor of YMCA detached workers. He works in the violence from destroying lives. That's what he means by keeping it cool. Sons being sons. Tribal Man. jungle music. <laughs> That's all you know. And gliders being gliders. I, not even not even the glider innovation can solve this one. <laughs> yeah, he works with youths of all hang out on street corners in various sections of the city. These youths grow up under See the... See how white kids? White kids were stugging back then, too, man. Look at y'all. Oh, look at this group. This is a tough group of white kids, man. They look like they they look like they look ain't scared of no sons, man. Worker program of the Chicago YMCA works with youths of all... ...hang out on street corners in various sections of the city. These youths grow up under the same conditions. Poverty walls them out of the society most Americans know. Seeking to be someone... Anyone. Some get in. The people in the neighborhood know that workers like Hank Bach, an Indiana University athlete, are trying to lead these youths toward goals they all desire and which few know how to reach. Passed away, though. Which guys were they not? One o'clock. Punks. 10, 11 years old. Lippy is all hell. All right. I mean, uh, when I say Lippy, this is not only for males, this is also for females. But we'll talk to them. I'll see him tomorrow. In fact, okay, that's we'll the same guys. Like, we'll do. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Lynn. The detached worker hangs with the group, almost one of them. He slowly develops a program of activities, outings, sports events. He also develops a staff, field assistants, consultants chosen from group leaders. They are paid 10 to $30 a month through a Ford Foundation grant, but the pay is secondary to their pleasure in having legitimate responsibility. The experience of helping your own group stay This is an all ending a tournament run by workers, consultants, and assistants. Elsewhere, where there is no such program, youth gangs fight and rumble for their status in the streets. In Chicago, the Y also run their own newspaper, filling it with items from the neighborhood. The program runs school tutoring projects staffed by undergraduate volunteers from Chicago's colleges and a placement service for boys who convince they're ready to move from aimless hanging out to a regular job. This smoothly run softball tournament is just a sample of a dramatic rediscovery that attached workers have made. Youth in poverty and con and do function legitimately when the positive challenge is offered. Programs back in the 60s, man. Wow. Yo, yo, I believe it or not, I read about these programs in Chicago, right? And the way they worked was the more, if you were a part of a street gang from a neighborhood, the t the more dangerous, the more tougher your, your street gang was, the more like trips they would take you on, the more programs they would give you, the more activities they, so 
So literally, I kid you not, you know how the um, Brito and some kids reacted to that. They began getting more violent because they wanted to go to, you know, these theme parks. They wanted these, you know, activities. Believe it or not, that's what literally happened. Wow. Gladys fundamentally don't understand POCs, but... Yeah, you know what the, you have to do is you have to make it not fun. You have to go make them work. You take them out to work yeah. camps and make them work. Yeah. And, oh, this is what's going to happen if you're violent. But but to be fair, I, even the Glider gangs were partaking. Though. They were also doing the same thing the Black, the Black and Brown Coalition was doing. Literally the same shit. Well, if you yeah. get rewards for being rowdy, you're gonna be rowdy. I mean, yeah. you know, you know, I mean, you know these Italians. You know how they are. Mm-hmm. Don't forget the Irish. Come here, brother. Yeah, uh, Okay, little cool breeze. Got no chest, huh? You all right? Look here. Look here. Hey, Jesse. The detached worker speaks their own language, in their own street. George Dryden must shed his four years of college, slip into the street talk, reach the group from the inside, not from the outside in. Listening, looking for signs of conflict. Stopping trouble is the program's first main goal. Violence, the first violence interrupted. <laughs> Hey, Robert, what's to it? You played a good ball game. Tom yesterday. Lecture, another college graduate. Athlete is a new detached worker, learning from George. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going I'm to break on back over to the Y. I'm going to see you guys later on. And you cats keep things up tight. Don't, don't, don't stop. But you keep things quiet, too. Give me a cigarette, brother, before you get knocked down. Young dude got a little high wrapped over here. Huh? We're really wrapped over here. Oh, yeah. He's all right. He's all right. Everything's going to be all right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to break on down this way. I'll see you guys later, okay? You guys be cool now, huh? Okay. ...is not all right. Not so cool. In the night, in front of this Y, after a fight, a boy named Richard was shot in the leg. A boy named Ronald fired the gun. And this boy, Richard, who demands satisfaction. <laughs> he said, if I see him, I'm going to shoot him. <sighs> this is the kid who got shot. Yeah. Yo, um, incredibly enough, right? I, 60 years from today in the year 2080, they're gonna be looking at the videos that we look at, and, and like you know, they're gonna be retro. It's gonna be the same shit we're doing right now. I'm telling you, nothing babe. is not nothing is gonna change ever. DNA. Where do you think uh, Ronald? Went? It is two days later. A 20th century camera is following George Dryden when this happened. Hey, there's, there's, uh, there's old Richard. Richard Johnson. See him? See him limping down there? Yeah, Ron was coming. Uh, the best thing, those, are those guys talking yet? They're not talking to each other at all? What's that? Uh, Richard Johnson won the round shot. Ah, uh, damn. Hey, 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 come here. Come here. Hey, Ryan. Come here. Come here. Oh, my God. He <laughs> yeah, talk to the guy he just shot. I know you were looking at something. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I see him, too. Now, come on. Come on. Come on. This is Ronald, who fired the gun. You know what we ought to do? Uh, hey, he's trying to get in on the picture. Oh. Let's, let's walk on down this way. Come here. Come here. Who wants in there with Come here. Come here. Come here, Ronald. Come here. Yo, he want to ask. He want to get him again. Right. He want to kill him. Uh, 
Uh, where? Cameras mean nothing as uh, it, back then. Cameras didn't mean anything. And now cameras don't mean anything. <laughs> Damn. Wow. You're staring him down. Daring him. Oh, what? You... Oh, nothing. Oh. Uh, this thing probably what we should do. Got something for another one, huh? Cool. Hey. Wait a minute. Hey, I don't worry about. It. Let me. You let me handle this. Here. Now, now, wait a minute, here? Yeah? Right. He ain't gonna do nothing, right? Now, hey, hey, Mac, you don't do a thing. You don't do nothing either, here? Yeah? You don't do a thing. Samson, you don't let me handle this situation. I can see how violence interrupters get shot now. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But, Ike, he didn't do nothing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nothing going to go down. Now, I mind you real quick. Don't mind you, bro. The music at this point in the music at this point in time was not violent, right? 1963. They had that. What was they want to do with um, Chuck Perry or whatever? Come on, man. Yeah. It's the music. Yeah, right. <laughs> So we handle the situation, brother. No, we, I know we know we know what's going on. We handle something. We we'll handle everything, Richard. We we'll handle everything. This is Richard, the boy who was shot. I know what we'll handle it, Richard. I'm the one that called man in the first place. So there's no need to start anything yet. Okay. okay. Nothing's wrong, brother. You're gonna be all right. This violence interrupt is doing a shitty job of fucking diffusing this shit, man. Plus what? And look at all the bystanders standing around looking ready to see the action because they're ready to see the fight. Or ready yeah. to contribute to it, too. Right. Yo, I wonder if this interrupter was in the joint, what was he in there for, you know? No, this violence interrupter was in college. Oh, Remember, was these, these guys went to college and they came back. And they do all this job talk is just like an act to like try to like. Mm. Bond with Connect, the guys yeah. yeah. Oh, I, oh, I prefer the the convict interrupters. <laughs> at least they have some idea what they're dealing with. I guess. Yeah, this guy's like he posted to separate. He like brought them together and shit, man. Um, salute to Jean, man. She says for keeping it real, man. Salute to Jean coming through with the five dollar challenge. I think they need to gather them together, you know, take them to an arena, give each one a knife and say, have at it. And, and mm. whoever wins survives. Like the, like the West Side and they could sell tickets, and, and they could sell tickets for it, you know, and, and make a little money for the community, right? Mm. Yeah, so, because let me tell you, one thing is you guys are all young. I'm going to get mad. No, no, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Round? No, hold no, uh, uh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. This all is good. I mean, You're, I don't even know the boy, man. Yeah, but, he walked up and shoot him. All right, but still, still the thing was. He said, I don't even know the boy. He walked up and shot him. Right. Yeah, where the cops at? I mean, can he, can someone put cuffs on this boy? He shot somebody, right? Exactly. And, and this is fucking, his tongue's tied. What the fuck is, what are you going to, like, do something, man. Like, what the right. fuck are you doing? And, and ain't, ain't it, ain't it they always told us I, that back, the, you know, the police were always ready to snatch your brother up? Well, this is a oh, perfect yeah. snatch your brother up opportunity right here. We know that's all lies, man. We know even in the fucking 1880s and in the 1906, that shit wasn't even like that. It's all a pack of lies. Sons lie so fucking much. This is how it was. It was just like this. <laughs> 
Yo, and who who, who, who knew it. that uh we we didn't we don't even need Kim Fox. Who knew? Right. Them, them, them that took place. See, first of all, first of all, the stuff around boy yeah. section, right? First of all. Let me let me. I'll straighten this stuff out with you later, okay? Yeah. I want to know about me and Shannon. Right. You know, you had a conversation with all these kids around Where, here. Girl? Now you know that. I'll, I'll straighten out with him later. Nothing, yeah. Richard, I'll, I'll be straight with you, brother. I'll be straight with you. Come on. Come on, I gotta come, come on, come on, I gotta come on for you come again too. Come on, come on. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna get to before you get mad though. I always get mad first. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna get a bullet from me though. I mean, see, think, think. But Ray, 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 Jim Oldham is the detached worker up tight with Ronald's group. He too is a college graduate. He and Dryden. Ronald to turn himself they into the police. A, Pico year. is Ronald's What's brother. Pico, as your brother, as, as what, what do you think? Are you his brother? What do you think about the situation? Yeah, I think that'd be all right. Yeah. That's the safest way out, you know. Because if they that's catch the best. If they catch the best, you're yeah. going to get the time. You're going to get what they can put on you, everything they can put on you. If you go down there on your own accord, I'll just tell them that you told me to take, that you asked me to bring you down there. That meant that you wanted to turn yourself in. I mean, it's your decision. Nobody can tell you what to do. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you to make up your mind. But if you're going to continue to run, if you if you don't make it tomorrow, run it. And every time you look around, you see little blue cop. You're going to be running. And I know you're tired of hiding and running now. You know what the best thing to do? If you wanted to, uh, you have Jim take you down there late. Like late Sunday uh, night or something like that. Late Sunday night. And uh, you go to court the next day. You go to court the next day. All this right. is about the only suggestion I could put for him. All right. I'm going to send you that, but I ain't going to make it. I'm going to do that now. Well, how late Sunday night? I don't care. Anytime. Anytime after what? I don't care. I'm going to leave this late. This kid ain't going to show up for the meeting on Sunday night, I promise you. He's long to late. I ain't going. We'll go down there about 10, 11, 12, All right. mm -hmm. 10 o'clock. You know what I would suggest you? Yeah. Let Ronald find you. Find me tomorrow. About 10 o'clock tomorrow night. I don't want to know where you are tonight. Or, or tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. I just, just. There's a term on the street. Shoot someone through the grease. It means to con, to deceive. On Sunday night, Ronald fails to show. As he. <laughs> through the <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how'd you know? I. I knew it, man. I mean, that turn yourself in shit that they say in the modern videos, you know, if ever turn yourself in, son, man, ain't turning me. What the fuck are you crazy? <laughs> it's just not how we operate, man. It's a fundamental lack of understanding of our psyche. Man, that would be taking responsibility, being accountable. Mm. The grease. Oldham and Dryden are patient. They know the unrealistic hopes of escape of a boy like this. They also know that the street, no matter what outsiders may think, is freedom. Sweet when you have little else. Monday morning, the only thing to do is to keep looking. Monday night, if Dryden can't find Ronald soon, the police. Only a lot of walking on the street will bring an answer. In the night, they find out why Ronald may have shot them through the grease. His group is not really convinced. Even if Ronald wants to turn himself in, he would lose face if his group the little society does not accept the action. Ronald has said he will turn himself in. Dryden and Oldham must gain the approval of the group for Ronald's action. I had when he was drunk. Who was? Who, who was? Drunk. Drunk? What was that you said last night? Drunk? Yeah, what are you going to do? Shoot me through the grease? No, uh, 
You gonna give us that up? Yeah. You gonna give us that up today? Did you, you think he's gonna do it? Huh? I think he would. What he said is that he wouldn't. I know he wouldn't. Oh, I mean, if, if the fellow is interested in turning himself in, then, then you guys, uh, all you fellows, know, know uh, the main reason. You think Ryan won't turn himself in? Well, we don't know. You don't think so? He ain't. He said he was. He said, he said last night he was. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, I, I know, I know. It's, 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 it, uh, it's questionable. But uh, I, have a, I, have, I have a strong hunch that he's going to. If I, if I wanted to trick on Ronald, I could have tricked on him yesterday. I could have had him picked up all day yesterday. There was, no, there was no, nothing to keep me from tricking on him. I'm not here to help him. And this is a cold, cold world. You don't get too many people to help you, somebody. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my phone number. Now, if you guys don't, if, if they catch him before, you guys call me and I get him. There's nothing I can do for him. But if you call me, then before they catch him and let me get him, then we may be able to, I may be able to help him. I don't know how much help is going to be now because we're supposed to, by this time. Maybe Ronald needs some encouragement. Maybe that's why he got got a little mellow. Because he had to make up his mind. Try to help him make up his mind. Yeah. Well, you guys going with what you got? You want, you want us to walk around with you, or you going to walk around and see what you think? You want us to go or what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Okay. Something's wrong with his mind. I think, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you a point blank. I think it's the right step. What do you think, Samson? Huh? I don't know. They got you in a sweat, huh, brother? I know I did. Then, early Tuesday morning, George Dryden finds Ronald waiting on the street in his path. Come here. Come here. Huh? Wait, come here. Come on. Come here. How you feel? All right. Huh? All right. You're tired, aren't you, Ronald? No, I ain't tired. You a little high. No, I've been asleep all day. Yeah. You know, I just told him to say that. What, what, what's, what's been the problem, now? Just, just ain't, just ain't feel like doing no jump on Johnny's hot outside. I'd be doing time in jail. Everybody's got this hot ass sun. Uh huh. I'm just gonna get it over with, shoot, man. Watch him. You, you, you gonna get it over with, shoot, man. Watch him. The thing is, I want you to make your, make up your own mind on it, Ronald. Get it, Jack. I give it up, brother. Uh, would you give me full area youth officers, please? Uh, it's about uh, a shooting, please. Well, I, I don't want I, I want the youth girl car to come. I don't want the uniform men to come. Ronald with worker Jim Oldham, a YMCA officer. And could you get it all right? Okay. Hold him, right? Oh, uh, he's about 15 years old. 16. Right. So they're going to hand him over to the cops. He don't look too scared to me, man. This fucking kid don't look too scared to be getting handed over to the slave catcher. Okay. The address, well, the main entrance is on Arlington. It's uh, the building is on Kids in Arlington, and the main entrance is on Arlington. Okay, thank you. Why do I feel like this is the meme deal or no deal? Yo, these slave catchers seem like, yo, 
Why do white? <laughs> why they you know just say yes or ball? Ain't you? Remember they they say you right. when a white man walked in the room, you supposed to say yes or balls and tip right. in. Don't make eye contact. Look at the flow. <laughs> You know, grab your hat and you know, crunch it up in your hands as you get nervous. <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> right, right, right. And, and then, and then you know, you know, the cruel glider king still be like, cuss you out. Eh? <laughs> Look at me when I talk to you, boy. Some word like, damn, damn, son. Yo, chief, uh, guess what neighborhood this is in, though? You already know. Oh, shit, Lawndale. Yeah. But Shit. fucking like, man, the and he, what they call the historic neighborhood of Lawndale. I don't know why. I ain't gonna lie to you. Keep it real. Wait, well, historic, history? historic because a bunch of motherfuckers were history in there. The law has been satisfied. Society will now try to rehabilitate a boy who was blamed for a violent act. Just one of many in a day's work for the detached workers in the streets of Chicago. And in Chicago is an all busy, complicated complexes called cities, until the many causes contributing to individual and youth conflicts are met head on. A handful of YMCA detached workers and workers from other agencies do their best to keep it cool. Okay, boys, you want to stand for the squad cars? Nobody gets hurt after that. I'll get back off that squad. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's not what we were told it was like back in those days, man. Wow. Right. And that's the list of bullshit right there. Wow. Unbelievable. Um yo, the man, did slavery really happen, man? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, man. Like is everything a lie, man. Everything we learned is a fucking lie, man. God, dog, or exaggerated, heavily exaggerated. Right, right. Look, I, all I know is this. I remember reading into detail how Dr. King came to Chicago in March because the police fucked up a brother that was that was wanted for robbing a bank. So, I mean, it's ain't the same shit as with Floyd, dude. Same exact shit, man. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, dog.